How you doing? This is Coach Carl. Today we're going to be talking about how to think to get what you want and think in a line with the thoughts that manifest results that you desire and not those contrary to it. So today we're going to be talking from John 7, 24. And it says, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Now what does that mean? Some of you hear that as some biblical edict and say, how does that apply to me today? You're going to find that if you understand how this works, you'll understand how your world works and you'll be able to manifest more successfully. Let's talk about this. It says, judge not according to appearance. And you notice that under judgment, we have the word decide. When you're making a judgment, you're making a decision. And making that decision, you've based that decision off of, as scripture says, appearance. Now, many times we look at appearance and we say, this stuff isn't working out. Why is it that when I begin to manifest my desire or I begin to affirm and I begin to live from the end, my desire, all of a sudden, all these terrible things start to happen? Judge not according to appearance. Now, when we're talking about appearance, we're talking about the world without outward the sight seen so it says judge not according to the outward the 3d the seen the hearing the tasting the smelling all of these things are the without and it says judge not according to your five senses or appearance because appearance is always changing if we look at appearance from a quantum physics level, we discover that the appearance is what it is that we see it as being. Everybody's appearance isn't the same. One person can see a situation and see abundance, and another person can see the same situation and see lack. Why is that? It's because of their past history. See, the thing about appearance, appearance is always based on past. You don't judge according to what you're seeing presently. It says that we're always thinking ahead of our evidence. So appearance is the evidence, but appearance is always based off of the past. It says judge not according to appearance, but judge a right or righteous judgment. Why are we told to think a righteous judgment? Now, many of us hear that word righteous and we think religious. Righteous means upright or right thinking. What is your target? It says that when we sin, another religious word, when we sin, we simply miss the mark. When we're thinking right thinking or righteous thinking, we're hitting the mark of our target. So what is your desire? What is your goal? What is that thing that you want to manifest in your life? Then you think according to that. We call that living in the end. When you begin thinking from the end, your target, your end result, then you're thinking righteous. It says, judge not. Now, when we're talking about the not, not is a negated word. Your subconscious mind cannot process a negated word. So when we hear judge not according to appearance, when you're processing that from a subconscious level, what subconscious mind hears is judge according to appearance. When you begin thinking from the negated word, in this case here, judge not, your tendency will be to, in fact, judge. Unless you begin to transpose that judge not according to appearance but in contrary here's your flip judge right judgment when you start judging a right judgment you start not seeing appearance but what it is that you desire from the eyes of your decision from your belief from what we call faith we call this in thinking faith thinking, right thinking, when we begin to judge from what it is that we desire, no matter what's going on on the without, 
We focus our attention on what's going on on the within. We judge from the inside out. We don't look at the appearance and make our judgment. We judge righteously and say, this is what I'm in the process of manifesting. This is what I'm doing, being, having. So when we see the outward circumstances, we don't allow that to move us. Many people say, coach, why is it, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything right. You know, I've done all the affirmations. I've gone into the silence. I've got into a state akin to sleep and I'm still having all these complications. That's because they're judging according to outward appearance. You have to keep your eyes on your prize. Whatever your prize is, that's what you have to keep in the forefront of your mind in spite of what's going on on the without. Again, the without is the 3D. It's always changing. It's always being rearranged. You keep your attention on what it is that you're manifesting. You continue to walk in what it is that you're manifesting. You continue to operate from the righteous or the right or the upright thinking. What is it that you're bringing about in your reality? As you continue to focus on what it is that you're bringing about in your reality, in your mind's eye, because you're judging from right thinking, not appearance thinking, you're not being moved from the without. You've made a decision. When making a decision, that simply means that we've cut off all other options. So when we're discerning, judging, making a decision, we're doing it based off of our desired results. What is it that you desire? Now understand this, appearance, the only thing that you can see in appearance is previous thoughts. Appearance is nothing more than a mirror of your previous thoughts. So appearance is nothing more than your previous thoughts, words, actions, feelings, states, emotions being reflected back to you. You don't judge according to the past. You continue to walk in, not appearance, sight, sound, hearing, not what's going on on the without, but what you've envisioned on the within. And what's going to happen is that life is going to begin to shape itself like silly putty and form what it is that you've seen in your imagination and begin to take shape on the without so that when you begin seeing in the future, your appearance in the future will see the loving relationship, the multi-millionaire. At that moment, what you've given your attention to, the evidence that you were thinking ahead of in your past, your current reality will only mirror your previous thoughts, words, actions, feelings, states. When you begin to change that and begin operating from a place of faith, your current reality or what we call the appearance or the 3D will begin to mirror, match what it is that you've thought in your past. If you're seeing lack, loss, limitation currently, don't be discouraged. That's previous thoughts just bubbling to the top. Now you replace those old thoughts with new thoughts, new beliefs, new feelings, new states, new emotions. Your future appearance is going to reflect your current thinking will project itself into your future so that your new appearance will have wisdom, wellness, and wealth, abundance, loving relationships, health, that's going to be your new outpicturing. But if it isn't reflected currently, don't get moved by that. Get into the state of what it is, who it is that you're becoming manifesting currently. And what's going to happen is that's going to be your future reality. In quantum mechanics, it talks about wave and particle. When things are being formed at a wave, it's kind of elusive. It hasn't taken shape. But when you give your attention to it, it becomes a particle. Now that particle becomes physical in your physical reality. So 
First, it's just a concept, a belief, a wave. But then it becomes a physical manifestation in your reality. If your physical manifestation in your current reality is something contrary to what it is that you desire to have in your life, don't be discouraged. It means that you're doing everything right. You just need to begin now thinking on lovely and what's of a good report. As you begin to contemplate, meditate, keep your focus on your new thoughts, soon it will be outpictured into your reality. But don't get discouraged because it doesn't happen overnight. The stuff that you've manifested in your life up until this point didn't happen overnight. But now that's not to say that change cannot begin immediately. I just don't want you to think that everything's going to happen all at once. Some things are going to happen very quickly. Other things are going to take a little bit longer. But as long as you keep your focus on who it is becoming, it's just a matter of time before that reflects the appearance in your current reality. Everything is happening right now. If you understand that you're always operating from a place of now, now will always project whatever you have thought previously in your now, in your current reality. If you're not seeing what it is that you want, keep doing, being, having in consciousness, subconsciousness, that which you desire. It's just a matter of time, creators, before you bring about that which you've contemplated in your mind's eye, in your reality. It will happen, but you have to stay the course and allow this to become your appearance of your future. So as we often say, begin living from the end, and then the end will be your beginning, and your beginning will be your current reality. But remember this, creators, that only you can create your perfect world. Not God or man. Only you can create your perfect world. This is Coach Carlos and have a great and abundant day.